This is uh, the KinoFlow booth, and we are showing the Mimic uh, image-based lighting units. So these are tiles that link together very much like a video tile wall would, would link together. So in this example over here, we have an eight foot by eight foot interlocked uh, system. We put a louver on it to try to keep the spill light from contaminating the wall, because trying to control the light is very important. And then coming around behind, we can see how all the units are reflecting the light of that Ferris wheel back onto the subject. So this system uh, operates on a Helios processor from Megapixel. We're operating at 30 kilohertz with a refresh rate of one third. So what we're able to do is also tr get a tremendous amount of light out of this. These panels are capable of generating 10,000 nits. What's a nit? Well, for example, 8,000 nits is the midday sky. So when it comes to trying to use these lights as a key light, we can actually generate a tremendous amount of light where it's, when it's necessary. We're also not limited to just being an image-based light source, but we can also turn it into a white light Kelvin tunable source. So this may be necessary where you really want to have a dominant Kelvin temperature on the scene and it's not necessary to synchronize it. Now, coming to synchronization, this is a non-DMX based system. With DMX uh, image-based lighting, there's an issue of latency. So we can't actually fully synchronize it to a volume. We can be close, but we can't be genlock. With this system, we can be. So it's non-DMX based. We can uh, assemble on one processor as many as 2400. Don't ever see that happening. But uh, that one processor from Megapixel is capable of handling 38 million pixels. One panel being 7200 pixels, you can see that you're going to tolerate a, a tremendous number of, of units on a set.